But I have my days again. Uh, it's always hard for me to keep track of my days. So it's either the 29th or the 30th. I'll have to correct this when I uh, on my way home. I just woke up now, so I can't tell my parents. And, uh, the date escapes, escapes me, and but I know the time is around uh, 1:30. So 13 hours and 30 minutes to the day. here. If you only look at religion, you'll never know why the person does what they do. You'll be, you'll be puzzled. Because a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense until you get into the Gnostic understanding of things. And you look at, you say, oh, pedophilia is so horrible. How, how can't we, why can't we stop it? And that's because for majority of the people who are on the Gnostic side of things, and that, those are the pagans, and this includes Western Christianity, right? People don't understand it. Western Christianity is paganism. It is paganism with, with a Christian face. So that's the only difference is that you maybe have other gods like you have, you know, Krishna and so on and so forth. You have Krishna, you have Buddha, you have all these other different people out there for these multiple different faiths and different religions. The Western Christianity is paganism. It is that Gnostic tradition. But it is with it is just the face is Christianity. The service of Christianity. Underneath it, your your Pope, your, your, a lot of your what's called the hierarchy, the people on the upper levels. This is where the Illuminati are. This is where your you know deep state, your shadow government is. Do you think these people have disappeared disappeared? After a thousand years of the Holy Roman Empire, you think these 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 families have just simply disappeared? Why do you think genealogy is so important? And it has been up until the 1960s. Who you were mattered. Your genealogy, your, your, your genetics matter. The family you were with mattered. This is why you're oh, talking about the Kennedys. Oh, he, he, must, he must be good up in the past because he's a Kennedy. Well, why is it why is it so important for the, to have this family distinction? And that's because it's been there for, for all this time. It's, it's part of the family uh, 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 tradition in terms of the Gnostic understanding. Is that the, you you pass these so-called good genes down to your your progeny, to your children, and so on and so forth. This is how you create the Kennedy line, the Kennedy dynasty. Kennedys were really the, the were, 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 were called Camelot. It, it, it rang back to King Arthur. And of course, the Clintons didn't want to be able to so the Clintons created Camelot 2.0. And so what you have, you have these sort of references, these imperial references. You can see this over and over again in Disney. Disney is always both royal and at the same time pagan. This is why you have the Owl House, which is basically uh, to the god Moloch. So you have the witchcraft in there, which is paganism. 
that's the not that's again within not the not of understanding but you know with the owl house uh, 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 what's it called the uh, star versus the force of evil amphibia these are all with this, this is why they have the man with the fuzzy hat the, the you know with the feds you know the hat with the with the, with the, with the task under that's all uh, referring back to the Gnostic traditions. And I'm talking about here, we're talking about the Gnostic tradition, we're talking about paganism. It's always been there in our society, and this is what this is what created the United States. This is what what, what created Europe. Europe was created out of out of out, out of out of this Gnostic pagan paganism. That's why you have Europe. Europe wouldn't exist without not faith. Europe, basically, the the, the Gnostic tradition of Europe, the European sphere, replaces the Eastern Orthodox with nothing like, is fundamentally opposed to the Western perspective of holy warfare, God's army. But this is this is what the West chose to focus on because it was never ever actually Christian. And so what you're seeing is, is, is today you're seeing this sort of understanding that, that the the churches have always the Western church has always been pagan. It's just got a Christian face to it. And one of the most powerful forms of magic, and you can go you can actually Google this. If you Google sex magic you will find that one of the most powerful forms of magic is sex magic. And so it was about gaining power, then you're going to use the most powerful form of magic, and that is sex. Now the thing is, if you, again, you go into the annals of magic, and go into the history of magic, both dark and white, you'll find that children often have the most, uh, most powerful magic. And so if, if, if you're looking at the type of magic that is most powerful, sex magic, and combine that with children who have the most powerful magic, oh, there you go, there's pedophilia for you. And it's all the way at, it's all the, way at the top. But, I mean, who do you think can afford a trafficked child? You know, who, you know, you're paying for a child. You're, you're paying for, 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 for their, for their transport. Your average Joe down below who's got blue collar can't afford that. So this, these are, this is something that's reserved for the upper echelon. It's not reserved for the average person. So the the, 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 the the key points of, of, of human trafficking, you look at the government, you look at your politicians. And the thing is, that this is the same thing, you know, why isn't the, the problem of police abuse ever resolved? Well, look who's responsible for the training, the mayor. All these people out there are talking about, you know, Trump, oh, Trump was so bad, look at what they did in Ferguson, Black Lives Matter. Well, well, Black Lives Matter is not a is not a federal issue. It's an issue for the mayor. It is a municipal issue. But yet the targets for the B, for BLM were all federal. Why miss the target that where, where you actually need to be effective? To be effective, you have to hit the, it, 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 you have to make it a municipal issue, not a federal issue. And yet this is never done. We don't see We don't see uh, the issues like BLM that they're talking about being dealt with at the municipal level where it can be and should be effective. But it's the, municipal, it's the municipalities who can decide how their police are trained. And it's a training issue. And as Lionel rightly pointed out, and then I pointed out earlier, that we're going back to the time of dirty hair. 
all these Antifa groups and all this, this stuff that goes on create the fear in society. And that fear demands more policing. So if it gets so the, the groups like Antifa say, oh we're fighting anti-fascism. We're anti-fascists, we're fighting fascism. Well no you're not. What you're doing is you're you're creating the argument, you're creating the need for more police, for more security. And this is what they don't fundamentally understand. Is that they're not helping, they're, they're, they're making the cause worse. Because their violence... Oops. Kind of fell off here. Their violence creates the need for increased police, increased, increased security. It creates the cause. And this is the perfect Hegelian dialectic that uh, Edward Bernays has been using so well. And everyone learned from Edward Bernays. Edward Bernays is the standard. He created all this, but he didn't, he didn't create it way back when, in terms of 1960s. He created it way back when in the 1950s. Well, it's hard to say kind of in terms of... Uh, <laughs> his pronunciation because I'm still not fully awake yet. Um, <laughs> looks like it rained. It rained in this neighborhood, but it didn't rain in my neighborhood. Localized showers. Oh, yeah, I'm tired. Still waking up. The problem is there are there are reasons for things, but the, the matter is. The, are, you, are you willing to sit down and do the research? And that's what a lot of people aren't willing to do. They don't go in and do the research. Don't do it deeper, die. Uh, then they currently do it, and this is what causes a large chunk of the problem. They simply go with what they know in terms of they've heard in an article or something. So they haven't actually done the research. But the thing is, is, at the same time, is you have to look at more than one source. You have to have multiple sources. And it's hard to sit through and go through 30, 40 different sources uh, <laughs> and still say the weekend warrior, uh, you know, conspiracy theory. And as I said before, the conspiracy theories include the people on the left. The leftists are conspiracy theorists. <clears throat> yeah. All right, bye. getting off around uh, 7 o'clock in the evening on August 29th. I did check the day. I do need to check the day because uh, the way I'm going to bed is I'm going to bed and waking up in the same day. So it seems like two days have gone by. But it really hasn't. It's just that's the appearance. Oh, so it's about uh, 19 hours into the day. We're dodging a storm. So, <laughs> you'll probably hear the thunder as we go along. And I'd like to thank, uh, uh, well, I think the person is, thank you. <laughs> I think the person is Mistopheles. Uh, I can't remember, I think that's his name. He's a character, uh, and he's been commenting, and and I say, before, I'll answer the comments within the videos. I'll try to do as much as I can in the comments if I see them. Sometimes I don't always see them. Uh, so I'll answer here. And 
there is no microphone except for what's on the GoPro. And I don't have an external microphone. So he'll got like on my lapel or anything like that. So it's just my voice. I gotta remember to enunciate and to sort of speak over the various different uh, artifacts of noise and whatever. So that's kind of the issue right now. And of course, I've got to adjust the phone. Right now, Pleasant View is kind of bumpy, so I'm not going that fast, so I'm not sure it doesn't knock the camera out of place. But a lot of times, there's simply no avoiding the bumps and the, uh, the shakiness. I fixed the mirrors up, but... Uh, there's still more that needs to be done. Man, this road is just so bad. fix the camera so we have got a good view uh, the mirrors are fine I'm gonna do the same thing for the camera that I did for the mirrors I found some foam that will go on the cracks in between to keep things stabilized so I'm gonna cut a piece of foam for the camera and the way it's mounted and sort of that will do the same thing and we won't have as much uh, uh, camera correction that we are having now. Anyways, what I want, what we're talking before about no season religion, is that while we seem to talk about mostly the people who believe in God, it's not just the people who believe who believe in God who have religion. Antifa is a religion. Black Lives Matter BLM is a religion. The Vaxxers are a religion. They're the same in many ways as the uh, as the anti-vaxxers. They have very little information. And that's because most of the information in virology is all classified because it's classified as a bioweapon. Just the way in uh, you know people talk about uh, you know directed energy weapons and so on and so forth. That's in the atomic area. That's in uh, quantum, quantum, mechanics, quantum mechanics or quantum physics. That's again a weapons area, and most of the work is classified. So you're not going to get, you know, <laughs> people, you know, who are in the field openly talking about what's going on. In many cases, you'll actually have people coming out and they allow this. They come up with misinformation directly, specifically to cause confusion, so that no one really knows what they're talking about. So it's up to the person who is listening. Is if you want to be a researcher, then you're going to have to put the time in. Is that is that simple? If you're willing to do the reading, you really reading reading. The, <clears throat> sorry, if you're willing to do the reading, then and put the time in, then you'll figure out what's going on. But in time, none of these topics are simple, easy topics that will be finished within a half hour or a week or whatever. You're looking at you're looking at well, basically years and decades. As I said before, why do I know what I know? And these are my observations. These are, these are my notes from my observations. So how do I know what I know? Because I spent 30 years doing this. And the thing is, if you have spent 30 years doing something, you'll have a good deal of knowledge that a person who's been doing this for five years doesn't have. And you'll have skill sets that a person who's only been doing this for five years that doesn't have. And it's not because you're smarter or better or whatever or anything like that. It's simply because you've been doing it longer. The length of experience matters. But if you spend most of your life chasing accolades and prizes, in other words, doing the show pony thing, then you will not move ahead. You'll, even though you have 30 years of experience, you'll have 30 years of experience doing the show. And the show is simply a work. It's, an, it's a narrative. It's not real. Uh oh, we're starting to get some rain here. 
So we will probably end up having some rain come down on us. Uh, let's see what we can do in terms of getting ahead of it. Staying ahead of it. I heard the thunder inside my house and so I just said okay time to get going before the before it got really bad it gets really bad so that's what we're doing we're getting ahead of the storm and so what happens is that you know the religious part of gnosis if you believe in magic if you're a person who believes in magic and this is true on the left hand path as it is the right hand path then your most powerful magic involves having sex with children. That's your most powerful. powerful that's what you want to steal. And this is what vampires do. A, a large chunk of the dark side, a black mass, will do this. But the thing is, they're not going to bring out into the public the entire aspect of the black mass. A large chunk of the black mass will be hidden and not seen. So that when a person gets into it, they say, oh, it's nothing wrong, we're just having, we're having fun. We don't take ourselves so seriously. This is more of a costume party. Well, not really, because again, at the same time, it, the, the, what you're seeing up front is the pretense. And the pretense is like the, uh, the child molester, the predator, who offers something sweet to eat for the target. And this is, this is, in many cases, well, this is the lure. How do you lure a person into something they wouldn't ordinarily do? You provide a treat that is enticing, something that they want, something that they desire. And once they have what they desire, in many cases, if the desire is strong enough, it will overcome their sense of morality. And they will do things to keep their desire that you wouldn't expect to be done. And this is what you're hearing during COVID. People say, oh, I know the, the vaccine is bad. I, you know, I need to keep my job. I need to, I, I, uh, I have a wife. I have a child. I have a, a house. I want this thing. I want that thing. And it comes down to the, the things they want, the things they, well, not necessarily they need, but the things that they want. And the thing is, you look at look at the psychology, look at the, the sort of the, the social dynamic, and what do you see? This is exactly what happened in in, in, in Hitler's Germany. People did what they did the unspeakable because they were able to keep the things that they desired, the things that they wanted. And then once the the, the, the the terror was in place, the terror remained. That there was no other option. They got stuck in a place they couldn't get out of. So many people, when they when they in a situation they don't like, they don't care for, and they don't see a way out, they'll simply put their head back down. Instead of being woke, they'll go back into this the, to the dream where the fantasy is better than the reality is, and so they will stay within that fantasy. And this is the act of denial. We see this in the news. How often things are just fundamentally denied, and you have people who will outright lie and say, well, how can they do this? It's just because they believe it. This is the new person who says that who's very comfortable with the lies. This is the person who's now starting to believe their own lies. And I've seen it happen. I know people who were involved in organized crime. They weren't necessarily good at it, but they had invested so much that they didn't really want to give up what they had. And so, rather than seeing the reality of the situation that's going on, they kept pushing. They kept doing the things that would make them popular in the eyes of the criminal world, but would continuously fail at it. And every time they would fail, they could get closer and closer to, well, well one person I know ended up stealing stuff from the Hell's, from the hell's Angel. This is, this is that's stealing from an organized crime group is something that's going to get, is, is something that's going to get you killed. 
this is how you end up six feet under or wearing cement shoes or whatever the sort of <laughs> the um, the alliteration well, the, 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 the sort of the comparison is I can't think of my words right now. I can't go back into my definitions. I'm just too tired. 